Welcome back to Tech Nuggets, where we uncover the latest and greatest in technology. This video will be one of the interesting video. Why? We will see the chat GPT's programming skill, yes. So, let's code Python with chat GPT. Okay, buckle up and get ready to do some real coding with chat GPT. This is two part video series. In part one, we will see how to set up virtual environment and do, do the basic allow world flash to dot to application. In part two, let us increase the complexity. So let us try to build flash to dot to application, CRUD application with MongoDB and Jinja template as a front end. So it will be a full stack development. Okay, before we jump into this video, TechNucket channel, that is this channel, is your source of all things about tech. So subscribe now and never miss a nugget of knowledge. Let's get started. Okay, what we'll cover in this video? Let us ask ChatGPT to set up virtual environment for new Python project because that's the first step. So you don't want to mix up with your environment, okay? And also, ask ChatGPT to write a Python code for a basic allow world flash 2. application which takes username and return username along with server time. Okay. Then once we are ready with that, the third part, we need to have the dependencies. So let's ask ChatGPT to produce requirement.txt. You know, that's a simple one, but it's a complex part of the dependency library installation. Then take this code to editor and prepare to run. Finally, let's test the code if it works or not. Okay. Okay. So, um, chat GPT is from OpenA. So, this is a URL. Uh, be mindful. Uh, it's a beta version and uh, the performance also limited. Uh, depending on where you located located across the globe, depending on the country where you live. Uh, sometimes it is the capacity full. Sometimes the response of it is abruptly interrupts. And also you see there are certain examples or capabilities and mainly see the limitations. And one thing which you have to see is limited knowledge of the world and events for after 2021. So it's trained on the data till 2021. And capabilities, the important one is the context. It remembers uh, what users said earlier in the conversation. That is one of the important thing. So the entire conversation is contextual based. Whatever you said the context in the beginning, it follows that. Allows user to provide follow-up corrections and train to decline inappropriate requests. Okay. Let's start our coding with this UI. Okay, so remember you need to have a sign in. You have to sign up to this uh, users chat GPT, even though it's a free version, you have to sign up. Okay, let's get start with the basic first query how to set up virtual environment. You can see as the response getting generated. Okay, it gives you a very clear steps if the person is new what all he has to do for example if the system is completely brand new the fresh system it doesn't even have a virtual environment it starts with the virtual environment pip install then setting up that is step two then change that vnv to your environment name then how do you activate it gives a very clear instructions with a very clear steps plus code the one of the easiest part is the copy code you can run directly with this and also finally it gives this will take you back to the normal environment and that is after deactivate note this virtual environments setup steps are same for both python 2 and python 3 it's very good and very detailed anyone very easily can understand excellent okay Let's try to follow this uh, steps. 
okay uh, let's follow chat gpt what we need to do let's set up i already did a pip install for virtual env and let's copy paste the code okay and i copied it okay let's go ahead and uh, paste it instead of pasting the problem with paste it'll have v and v instead of that we want to make it flask so what i'll do i'll type it virtual env flask 2.0 okay so it should take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds depends on your systems and the internet speed right okay it's completed uh, you can see the final message which has created a virtual environment called flash 2.0 and it is a window system and you see the next step you cannot blindly uh, follow the steps maybe if you want specific you have to say the which environment okay so it's a command prompt and you say bash script it says so let's find out the directory what it is created what is a flash 2.0 it's good cd flask and also some of the steps um may be a bit different and now here uh, inside this you will have scripts let's go ahead and start that part scripts and uh, we will see activate and uh, this is how in windows we do but uh, um, in linux it's a bit different let's say activate it so you can find that flash 2.0 here so that means you are in the virtual environment okay we are ready to put the code now we are ready to generate the code okay uh, let us put the prompt let's go ahead and can you write me a simple python flash 2.0 to echo the username what oh. username what he enters and show me the what user enters and show the server type okay let's go ahead and see very good another record so it's a beta let's see what we can do okay so let's refresh this page i don't know whether it will uh, work and uh, let's rephrase that we are good so you as soon as you enter any prompt that will be saved with that name and uh, finally we don't have that what we have entered okay let's go ahead and rewrite that hold tight it's going to generate the response okay so i will keep as is if you can pause the video and see it's perfect it started generating the flash code okay so the thing is and finally after it generates how you are running and plus it will tell you how do we execute and see this code and it's it's perfect the code is really it's a perfect code and also it says it's a javascript and uh, remember that my environment is windows so we have to run accordingly that we'll see how do we do that and it is stuck at this place there is some more text out to come but it is not it is saying how do we test this finally once this code is ready okay let's go ahead and put this code in the 
editor. So in order to run the code, we'll take it into the editor. That's a visual source, visual studio code. Okay, I have included that and created the src folder you remember we created a virtual environment and now we'll create a new file called app.py app.py and paste the code what is generated awesome okay we pasted the code okay perfect uh, the basic program is ready however it is not that all the system have the required dependencies let's try to get the dependency from chat gpt let's put the prompt let's create the requirements txt for the above code dependency okay so here is the requirements.txt file the above code that is flash 2.0 because it's a simple flash 2.0 we don't have any complex requirement and it's very very good in fact okay based on chat gpt's instructions i created a new file called requirements.txt i put the instruction let's install the dependencies okay That is uh, pip install minus r requirements.txt. It will take a couple of seconds, depends on your system. Once it is done, I'll let you know. Okay, it is completed. It is installed uh, plus 2.0. And you can see all the dependency libraries installation. Okay, and also it has last two dot or Jinja two and other things. Awesome. Now we are ready to run the code. Okay, let's go ahead and run it. The way we run is, uh, if, since you are an editor, run Python file in terminal. It doesn't go. Just go ahead and create new terminal. Okay. Once it is the terminal is ready, then go ahead and say Python. It is app dot py. Okay. The white the server. So you have to be inside SRC, right? Ooh, okay. So that's now Python apps dot py. There you go. Okay, it's running with the uh, app dot py. Let's go and check in the browser. Okay, let's go ahead and say look close 500. Awesome. So you have a um, very nice user interface to enter the name. Uh, let's say it take work ads. Perfect. Okay, so it is created, it is given an interface, and you can see hello technicals and the server time what is the time it gives awesome so this is the whole beauty of um, chat gpt and uh, the effortless from your side and uh, the, how much assistance you have taken from technicals it's quite good finally few comments okay um the user who is asking for the code should also be aware what has been asked and the environment and also you should not be executed. However, the code is, uh, it's not 100% chat GPT will help you. However, at least 90 to 95% chat GPT can help you. That's really very, very good. It's one of the uh, 
at once model than any other AI based model on this right rather than you run around with multiple uh, stack trace stack um, uh, other uh, Google ch search everything it's quite good okay it's, it's the final verdict it's a very good finally thank you for your time if you like the content please subscribe and like it share it and we'll see you in the next video